The Day the Crayon Squid by Drew Dewar Illustrated by the creator of Lost and Found Pictures by Oliver Jeffers One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Boom! Down with this sort of thing, we're not happy! Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons all year long. I wear myself out coloring fire angels, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Brother Tide's Day. I need a rest. Your overwhelmed friend, Red Crayon. Dear Dan, Alright, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon. For grapes, dragons, and wizard hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lights. If you don't start coloring inside the lights soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark red because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners. If I'm lucky and weak, and let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige red, beige crayon. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me! I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color it all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals! Baby penguins are great, you know? So a very tiny rock, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? You're very tired for gray crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you're using me on white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or fill in empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend. White crayon. Hi Duncan, I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work, loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems. I wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things with Korea so far. The second reason I write this for my friend Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange 
neon that i am the color of the sun i will tell it but we are no longer speaking and i can prove i'm the color of the sun too last tuesday you used me to color in the sun in your happy fun coloring book in case you forgot that it's on page 7 but you can't miss me i'm shining down brilliantly on feel of yellow crown your pal and the true color of the sun yellow crown dear duncan i see yellow crown already talk to you the big one <laughs> anyway can you please tell mr tarantello that is not the color of the sun i would but we no longer speaking we both know i am clearly the color of the sun because on thursday he used me to color the sun on both the monkey island and the weekly soup keeper pages in your day at the soup coloring book orange you glad i'm here ha huh? your pet and the real color of the sun orange crown dear duncan it has been great Being your favorite color is past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. You're very stubby, friend. Blue crayon. Don't cut. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in a pretty princess's coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staring at the lights. Now back to us. Could you please use me some time to color the occasional pink dinosaur or a wall star or a cowboy? Goodness, those they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Big Bear. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Big Bear. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked. At two. I better to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help your naked friend reach crayon. <laughs> well, poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy, and that gave him an idea. Dad can show his teacher his new picture. She gave him a good work sticker for coloring and a gold star for creativity. Are your crayons happy? D and thank you. Bye bye.